Hi everybody, so this is going to be my one week postpartum update video. Here's Jasmine. She is here. She's been here since, I had her on October 19, 2011. Today is um, October 27, 2011. Um, I had her when I was 40 weeks and 4 days. Yeah. I went over my due date. Um... My water broke on October 18th at like one minute before 11. I was laying down looking at TV about to get ready to go to sleep. And I felt like, felt something. It felt like a period. And then, so I heard the gut go down, shit, or something. And I was like, what the hell? Cause I didn't know what it was. And then I got up and went on the toilet and it was just like linking a lot. So it was like, my water broke. So I had to hurry up and go to the hospital. And they got me ready. I was in labor for 24 hours, a little bit over 24 hours. Um, I had her at 11.16, I think. She was 6 pounds, 12 ounces. Um, what else? I don't make sure I don't forget anything. Yeah, so she was born on October 19th. She's one week and one day today. She's looking. She's a little. And she's got oh. live hair. I didn't have no heart. Oh. All right, come on. Oh, and I'm breastfeeding. I'm still breastfeeding. It was kind of hard at first when I was in the hospital doing it, but I got the hang of it, and it's. Alright, you know, I'm still getting the hang of it, but I'm getting better at it. What? You hungry? You hungry? Um, what else? When she sleeps, she mostly sleeps during the day, and she be up all night till like 7 something in the morning. I don't get any sleep, and it's just like so exhausting. I'm afraid, but yeah, she don't sleep. At night and in the morning, like she'll probably go to she'll probably go to sleep around like seven thirty in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, and then she'll be sleep the whole day. And then sometimes she'll wake up just to eat and stuff like that. And yeah, other than that, she has a oops, she has a crazy sleeping habit. And then um, she's always hungry. She she's already spoiled. She knows when I'm not holding her or anybody's not holding her. She don't like to be in her basket net. What? What? You mad? You mad? She be getting mad. And um, what else? Um, I forget nothing. I end up getting stretch marks. They're around my belly button. It's not that much, but it's whatever. I know I'm gonna get them anyways. And my stomach is so dark. Like, it looks gross. I'm not going to show you guys in this video. I'll probably show you guys in another video, but my stomach looks so nasty. It's like, ugh. And then my weight, my weight was 146 before I had her. That was my last weigh in. Let me stick to my shirt. And then, um, I think it was the other day I had weighed myself here at home and I'm back to my original weight, um, which is 125. But I usually be like between 125 and 130. It always go up and down, but I'm 125 right now. So I'm back to my uh, original weight. I just got this little pudgy stomach. It's like a little pudge. And it's dark and got a little bit of stretch marks. But, yeah. Um, as far as me, like, I feel okay. Like, sometimes I'd be like, I'd be looking at my thing. I can't believe I have a baby, you know. And um, it still feels unreal. I'm here now. So yeah. I don't feel like no pain or anything. Like sometimes I feel my stomach, um, um, I think my cervix shrinking. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, oh. And then, what, what, what? What, mama? Oh. Ah. Ah. getting mad? Okay. She wanna eat. She always eating. She, gonna be, she might be skinny right now, but I think she's going to get fat. She's going to be a little fat girl. Because she's always eating. Um, oh, I was just about to say something. 
Oh, she went to the doctor. Oh, I'm about to say something, but she went to the doctor's appointment. She had a doctor's appointment on the 24th. Yeah, the 24th, and she's healthy. Nothing's wrong with her or anything. She does have, like, she gets, like, real little skin sometimes. I guess that's because, like, her skin is sensitive and whatever. And, but other than that, she's healthy. Nothing's wrong with her heart or anything. Nothing. Um. What else? Oh. I didn't have to have a C-section. I gave her, I had, um, had a vaginal. I was almost about to have, probably have a C-section because I was in labor for so long. And my water had broke before I finally had her. And I ended up getting an epidural. I could not take that pain. Oh my God. I couldn't take it. It was just horrible. They gave me like this little other kind of medicine that I'm not supposed to feel. Oh, they had to induce me because I wasn't um, dilating long. When I first went to the hospital, I was, my, um, I was only one, one centimeter and 60% E-face. And it was taking a while for me to dilate, so they had induced my labor. When they did that, it was just all hell. Man. And I don't know when I'm going to have my labor and delivery video up, because my brother, he filmed it, and he has the footage. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to have that video up. I don't even know how it is, how, you know, how much you got. But he didn't get when I was pushing her out, because, um... When I was walking back there, the doctors didn't let them come in. I was so mad because I thought they was back there when I was pushing her out. But it didn't take a while for me to push her out. Like, it probably could, took like a couple of minutes. But, yeah. I still was still in pain after I had the epidural. It didn't take away all the pain, you know. And just numbs your legs. I felt like, I felt crazy. It was just weird. I was acting the fool up in that labor delivery room. Yeah, I, I, I don't really, I didn't see the whole footage. I just seen a couple of it. And I just know that I was asking the fool. But, yeah. She's going to sleep. So, yeah. Her name is Jasmine Love Rodriguez. Oh, she took pictures yesterday. I'm going to show you guys her pictures. We got her, I got her pictures taken at picture people. I don't know if you guys know about that place. I just wanted to take her pictures when she was like a couple of days old, a couple of weeks, I mean a week or whatever old. That's just like a tradition in our family. We all have like pictures when she when we were really little. Alright, fat girl. Hold on. So here's one. Let me hear you. I'm going to take one out. I didn't take any pictures with her. I'm going to take pictures with her another time. Here's one with her dad. Twitter. But yeah. Alright. See you guys in another video. Bye.